What are your thoughts on um, this mayoral race? The mayoral race? Mm. Give, me, give me the first time we're going to have a woman as a mayor, which mm. is finally, yeah. I think. But I think we have to make sure that we have a quality person, and I think Joan is a person that's going to lead our city into the future. If there are, like, a few things on, on the ballot that most people skip over that you think are super-duper important, what would you say Burlingtonians should focus on? Well, I'm really hoping that we'll pass the school budget. I want us to tell our future generations of Burlingtonians that we really care about them, and making sure we have a high school is a big part of that. Um, so please encouraging folks to vote yes on the school budget and that public safety tax is important we're facing a deficit as a city and it will be really important to make sure that we have all the funds we need to keep people safe and fund our public safety personnel do you think burlington is doing enough to um make queer and mar marginalized uh, community members feel safe well, as a trans person, I'm glad to see that this, the council passed a resolution a little while ago saying that trans people are welcome here and condemning hate. That's wonderful. And also words don't mean as much as actions. And the fact that we're still seeing these transphobic stickers around town, um, that we have people who don't believe that ch trans children deserve to exist safely and openly are running for school board positions makes me nervous. Um, and while I'm grateful for all the all the work and in support of trans and queer people in our community that has happened, I want to see that work front and center as we as we go into the future. Why do you think it's important uh, to put forward this uh, public safety tax? Well, we've acted over the last couple of years in the city council to enter into new collective bargaining agreements with our police and firefighters to address recruitment and retention issues. If we're going to live up to the promises in those new contracts and we're going to be able to bring in new positions like community service officers, urban park rangers, stand up new teams to help folks with substance use, um, then there's a cost that comes along with that and the public safety tax is, is going to meet that need. Was there anything on the ballot that you wish, like, or anything that you wish would have been on the ballot? Yeah, um, there's been a lot of conversation in the last couple of years about, you know, direct democracy in Burlington and ballot questions and also like the town meeting tradition, right, of towns throughout Vermont um, have a different discourse on town meeting day. And Burlington is a big city. And I think that when we get things on the ballot that's a way that we can have like discourse around issues that are important so i would like to see more citizen-led um, ballot initiatives making it onto the ballot i'm supporting uh representative mulvaney stanek uh, i think that she is more likely just based on her record to promote a bold vision uh, especially for housing policy for urban density here in burlington which is really my priority um, i haven't worked super closely with her in the past but i do know that her work in the legislature has been really consistently geared towards the interest of working people what are your thoughts on the ranked choice voting approach this year yeah i'm very curious to see how that will pan out i'm i'm hoping that it helps um, all candidates rather than favoring the incumbent, which our typical way of voting, I think, has. But we'll see.